Got my boat about done the way I wanted. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, first off, uh, this video is about my 2000, or 1999 Luma, Luma Craft Tom boat. My nephew found it for me. It was a uh, decent shape uh, for a 22 year old hull. Uh, had some corrosion we had to fix, but uh, that took, took care of all that. Anyway, one short uh, shout out to William, uh, Take Two Fishing. That's where I got the idea for a lot of this boat. He took a similar boat and turned it into a bass boat uh, from an old John boat. Um, I took the same idea, similar idea, uh, and turned it into a flats boat uh, for here in Florida fishing. I chase redfish and speckled trout. Uh, once in a while I go up the river, but uh, enough about that. Let's uh, take a look at the boat. It was pretty rough shape, so um, overall it got stripped, it got patched, it got sealed, got painted, and it got camoed. Um, that's the hull, I guess. Uh, did a, it, it doesn't leak. Any did leak for a while when I first got it. Uh, had some corrosion uh, holes that went through it. Oh, mostly because it sat down on, uh, it went in salt water, and it sat on cloth bunks, which abraded it, and sat salt water on it, and uh, it ate through the aluminum, surprisingly, or not. Anyway, it won't happen again. Those are vinyl bunks now. Uh, trailer got an overhaul, bearings, wheels, um, tires, whatnot. Everything else uh, works on the trailer. Works well, maybe a little rusted, but uh, functionally it's in great shape. The boat. I wanted a remote trolling motor. It didn't cost me an arm and a leg, so got the Haswing at 480 bucks. 55 pound thrust trolling motor. Remote control, either with foot um, or fob, or there's two fobs, one you can mount to a dash or something and one you carry around a lanyard of course. Uh, the deck is made out of half inch furniture grade plywood. I did that during the uh, early pandemic so that crap was like 40 or no 54 dollars a sheet. I needed two and a piece uh, just for the decking. Anyway I uh, could have went with the other stuff but cheaper stuff but this stuff is, is sealed underneath with with it it has good grade good uh, uh sanded already uh top and bottom front and back uh no particles sticking out uh on top of it is uh, tough coat it's a product with rubber bits in it so you have rubber rubberized paint I've had it on there for a few months now and it's really taken well. Uh, mounted everything with stainless steel screws and little rounded rivets with the, or uh, rather washers. Give it a little dress look. That's a, uh, William, that's one of your ideas. Looks really nice and it's held up well in salt water. Uh, sealed this, everything's sealed with silicone, clear silicone all around here. Anything you see like here, also here, and the hatch. Um, uh, edges down through here so you can see the silicone there um, these came off my kayak I quit kayak fishing because I'm <laughs> getting older not near stable uh, had an issue and it kind of scared me so back to a boat it's like a big kayak it's only 14 feet long 42 inches wide at the beam all right and here we have uh, safety gears my uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, this is a charger, dual stage or dual unit charger. Uh, kill switch, house battery, and back here is the lithium for my trolling motor. Uh, two different batteries. I have four batteries on this boat. Um, the next one is for the Garmin. I keep that separate because sometimes I take it in the house and mess with it and do stuff with it. So it's nice to have it uh, handy for just taking off, and uh, that's the way it's made. Um, these came off of a prior boat. Uh, I can't remember the name of these, but they're sea, sea suckers, I think they're called. 
and it's just uh, vacuum. Uh, they hold 60 pounds, each one of them. Anyway, I take them and put them over here sometimes when I'm trolling. Um, more decking. Underneath the deck is uh, poly, so I've got uh, insulation underneath all of that. This is uh, clips for the seats. The seats are, are held on with um, top and bottom cleats. This is the male side and female side sits on the seat. I have two of these. I don't always run this one if it's just me. And it usually is. Um, comfortable seats. Um, plastic, it's all plastic, even the frame, so it's not going to rust. Put some bungees on, some homemade bungees, just to hold stuff down. Uh, that's my uh, binoculars. Uh, let's see. Uh, I already talked about the Garmin a little bit. I'll come around, come around there in a second. But this is all off the fly, so uh, it's going to be <laughs> kind of just that. These are cool. I got these off of uh, the internet. They're just uh, pool noodles made to go over stuff. I mean, they're already cut, cut, uh, cut properly, so there's no deviation. I, I was going to get these and cut them myself, and I found these that are already slit. I'm like, what hell? And they're they're almost the perfect diameter see, for that rail. They fit on that rail really nicely. Um, you can see it's already scuffed up where I've gone into the docks and whatnot. It's a nice bumper. Um, what else? Oh, there's more to talk about. These are cool. Uh, these are just dock tie-offs. But something I did was, because I keep them out, they're not in the way. I keep them tied up to, I have four of these cleats um, on four corners of the boat. And on them... You can take it off and have uh, S-beaners on it, and you just kind of loop it around, whatever you got to loop it around. Because it's not big enough to go around here sometimes, so you need this. You know, make your, your loop however big you need it. Anyway, S-beaners work great for that. Uh, let's see. Pedestal here, I have different pedestals. I can have the leaner bar, which that's what that is, a leaner seat. An adjustable bar, up and down. If I'm sight fishing... I just bought a ladder I'm going to try because I want to get up a little higher. Um, I'm going to see what, just a ladder, see if I want to do anything. A few future for a casting platform or sight fishing platform. So we'll see. Um, got it yesterday. I want to play with it this weekend. Okay. Um, stakeout pole uh, for uh, the Power Pole Mini. Mini power pole. This thing's great. I mean, it's an eight and a half foot or eight, whatever it is, eight and a half foot pole. Um, you can control this remotely or from station here. Uh, you put it, and it's a power pole. Powers down, locks you in place. It's it pff, game changer. Um, anyway, there it is. That's what that is. And it is, in fact, a game changer. It ain't cheap though. So I saved money off the trolling motor to put it in this. <laughs> How about that? Uh, Yamaha 2020 20 horsepower short shaft electric start found it in Atmore Alabama fella bought it during the pandemic early on when nobody had anything he had a new boat he wanted a 25 they didn't have it he bought this with put a down payment on the 25 when it came in almost a year later he got it and he sold this for basically what he could get for trade about a hundred dollars off of over uh, trade-in so i drove up and got it low mileage this thing will push this boat at 28 miles an hour 28.7 with me in it on a flat calm bay um okay transducer uh on a transducer mount so you don't have to drill a hole that's that piece of plastic or marine uh, grade pvc glued on there or epoxied on there uh, it, it, I've had it on there for about a month and it, it does fine uh, let's see uh, vinyl wraps on the bunks so we don't have that rust issue back here you have a, um, well you can't see it but that's my anchor light pole post yeah, keep it tucked up under here battery for the motors over there um, bilge is here Made a little frame out of a little piece of, of uh, steel or galvanized steel to 
that bends easy. And I use in the uh, decking. I got went down to uh, house decking stuff and got a lot of this stuff. My actually my frames all put together with um, pieces of angle iron basically. Those little clips you find at Lowe's. Uh, let's see, um, and a small. I got. Oh, it goes in there easily, but I'm messing with it with just one hand. Um, a collapsible paddle. This is my stakeout pole that I had before I uh, got the mini a micro pole. This is just a stakeout pole. Doesn't fit in the other one, unfortunately, without a lot of effort. You have to sand it down smooth. It's a little bit too big. But, so I just went ahead and bought one for it. This one I still use. I'll stake out on both sides if I don't want to move. I use it also as a push-off pole or a small polling pole. So it's got a nice end on it. Uh, you can pull it through the flats. So it's not quite long. It's only eight foot. Um, this box is from a just a craft box I got off of uh, you know, there's some site off of Amazon. Uh, and in it is a couple of bus bars, negative and positive. Um, fuses for everything. Um, each switch is fused. Uh, I did blow one. <laughs> I made a mistake with my batteries and I just took these out and popped it out and changed the fuses are all behind here so no problem uh, I do have a power uh, charging power I have a USB station here there's two of them different um, wattages and then the uh, um, cigarette style charger and uh, all my switches for all the different electronics lights front back um, the anchor uh, micro anchor is fused here, so I have a um, disconnect here. So this switch allows me. Which one is it? It's this one here allows me to disconnect power um, from here to the battery or to the uh, micro anchor. Even though the house battery and it runs off a house, even though the house battery is also uh, got a cutoff switch and fused. So uh, pretty much it, I think. Thank you, William, again for motivating me and giving me some ideas um, and as you see I've taken that and made some of my own but much of this uh, looks like your boat the front especially the the, the double decking uh, my hatches are probably different I didn't go with the push out to hide the stuff in here I went with just this you know you, you had a kick out here of a no, few inches so you could put batteries and wiring and stuff in there I elected to, to, to go this route um, to give me a little bit bigger cockpit. I want a little bit bigger cockpit. I didn't want that to take up my cockpit space. No. Just personal preference. Uh, came out really well. Thank you, Dustin, my nephew, for finding this boat for me and giving me a project. Uh, last late winter, early spring, I started on it. And uh, it turned out quite well. It fishes good. It, I ain't going to be out in the bay on roller days, but um it does fine in a little bit of a little bit of roll been out in the caps when it's capping and that ain't no fun but uh, it works it's not, i don't go anything deeper than well in the bay anyway uh, i'm a marsh fisherman mostly prefer that shallow water has an led light in the front yeah that's super bright we was up in the river catfishing the other night and it's pretty bright all right Alright, again, i just been wanting to do this for a while and forgive any uh, stop and going with my explanations of what's going on here with this boat. Uh, but I enjoy this thing as much or more than many of my motorcycles <laughs> and my golf carts. And uh, I haven't had a lot of boats in my life, but uh, this one's a winner. It's a keeper. I'm going to keep this for a while and play with it. Yeah. Alright. Y'all have a blessed day. Merry Christmas 2021. Tim out.